right, here we are in a beautiful Buckeye, Arizona, late in the day, looking at a beautiful 1955 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop. Very nicely done resto mod. As I begin the video here, I want to tell you that the camera has a tendency, this particular video camera has a tendency, and it's only with this artesian blue to make it look more green than it actually is. It's actually our tur artesian turquoise. It's a turquoise. So go to spudsgarage.com. We'll have plenty of still photos for you to study the color. It's a very common color. Beautiful car. Nicely done. Body off rotisserie style restoration with a real subtle resto mod feel. Um, beautiful chrome glistening chrome i actually like this car because it's not overdone it's got just the right stance not too big of tires i think they're uh 225 uh, 55 16s all the way around so the same size all the way around bf uh goodrich uh g g force tires on it has billet specialties kidney bean style wheels or halibrand style wheels other than that, the exterior of this car is all stock. The wheels just give it a nice little hot rod or resto mod feel to let you know there's just a little bit something different about it. A lot of traffic here, a lot of golf carts going by. Beautiful straight body, very nice trim. All the trim lines up nicely. We'll cover the whole car as we go around like we usually do. We're shooting it in the shade here because of the way this camera has a tendency to pick up the the green and the blue or in the turquoise and uh, just a beautiful car you can see the reflections on the side resting on not a lot of miles since the restoration underneath the hood here is a uh, GM ZZ4 350 really done nicely subtle underneath the hood dual snorkel air filter uh, four barrel carburetor power steering up front disc brakes it has a turbo 350 automatic transmission factory V8 rear differential in it all the chrome and bright works just beautiful. You gotta love the nose on a 55 Chevy. There's nothing like it. My favorite of the Tri Fives, and I actually like very much like the way this resto mod's done because it's just really subtle and really nice. Um, I know the gentleman that had this restored, and the car's been passed on to the family. And uh, I know the gentleman that did a lot of work on the car, the resto mod modifications in the trunk. There's a, actually a full photo book from the restoration that's all we have on it um, just wasn't passed along from one uh, family member to the next again it sits just right it looks just right dual mirrors right and left and again those uh, uh, billet specialty wheels look just right on this car all the chrome trim as you look at it it's really hard to get the noses of these cars right and the nose of this car the fit is almost perfect. They usually sometimes will get a huge gap up here. The fit of the hood is awesome. And the front fender's on it. The body is very straight and it's a very nice uh, professional finish on it. Again, artesian turquoise. Bel Air trim here on the back. It's got upgraded air conditioning in it. Like we, uh, I don't think I mentioned that yet, but it's got an upgraded air conditioning. All factory style interior. Again, if you put stock wheels on this, nobody no different than it wasn't anything but a stock 55 Chevy. Dash trims, all factory, nothing. Uh, this car's just nicely done, not overdone. Sometimes less is more, and in this case, this car is definitely more because it is less when it comes to style. And equipment, because you can drive it. Uh, it has uh, low car style pedals over there on the side. You'll see the ACs underneath the dash here. Control is that little knob over on the right here. Right up in here, it has updated wiring. We'll cover that when we get up there. Nomad style carpet in it. The cloth two-tone uh, interior. Door jam to door jam, all the latches. Again, a rotisserie style restoration. So it's really nice. Factory door trim panels here. The door shut really nice. In fact, we're gonna take the time. I rolled down these windows. I might as well roll them up. They roll up super easy. You saw that I just did that one hand. We're going to roll up the driver's side here. It went up nicely. We had the windows down to do the photo shoot and video. Flippers work down. They work perfect like they're supposed to. The rain, the rain flippers here is what I call them. Wow. Fun car will fire it up. Again, not overdone. Just right. So it's artesian turquoise with the off-white 
I can't for the life of me I can't remember what you would have called that in 55 56 the color anyway the glass is very nice and the fit of the glass is very nice all the trim fits nice on it a little bit of a long walk around because I'm really enjoying this car I've spent a couple hours with it here getting the trunk here I'll show you in the trunk here that the trunk wells are really nice um, where they would typically rot away it's just rock solid again there's a little photo book back there where it shows you the floor pans top and bottom how they are during the restoration again I'm just gonna go back to the fit here as I'm looking at look at the fit of this trunk it's just nice and tight both sides top to bottom Papa's 55 again it was passed on from one family member to the next here and it's in Arizona spent a lot of its time in California this car I believe that it was a Tennessee car before its restoration fuel doors nice here down in there the inside of the quarters are nice again the same size tires all the way around so if you want to spare you have the same size tire trims beautiful again I want to point out that it's looking green that this one camera that I have just doesn't catch artesian turquoise just right it's a beautiful blue artesian turquoise factory upholstery string tight done right seat belts up front here all the courtesy lights in the rear 55's have the bows in the roof they're nice factory vent is where it's supposed to be it's a VC which means uh, the vent starts with VC which meant it would have been a uh, V8 again factory door panels here just kind of keep looking at it here and sharing it with you factory style it's had as an upgraded uh, tilt steering column on it it's been chrome plated so it's like a uh, uh, I did it type steering column with nice little uh, chrome knobs on it again not overdone AC vents on this side low car style pedals you look at the wiring harness on this it's just beautiful late model mini bus fuses on it a lot of time was spent uh, dialing this car in when it comes to the mechanics of it so a lot of confidence would go with a car like this because it's not overdone it's just right I'm gonna say the restoration's probably been done about 15 years probably the miles or uh, it was a stock car and then converted to a resto mod a stock style restoration 11662 on the odometer at the time of reading um, it's hard to say whether they set it to zero or not, but that's the current miles. Factory column style shift here. Again, ZZ4 350, two, two and a quarter inch style exhaust on it. Starts right up. Get back here and let you hear it. Right in the middle of Golf Cart Alley and uh, Car Alley here. Anyway, hey, go to SpudsGarage.com. You'll find this a lot of car for the money. Have a great day. Give me a call with any questions. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, just a short little clip here. I realized I got over to the driver's side here and got thinking about starting it up, and I was going to show you the windows on this side going up. Getting very easy up and down. Go up really easy. Again, the rain gutters work like they're supposed to. Anyway, there you go. Door shut nice, too. Okay, we're going to take it for a little spin down the block, turn it around, and photograph the other side of the car. We did video sections in the sun and shade and 
just to kind of give you a good overall feel. Easy power steering, air conditioning, four barrel V8 horsepower, not too noisy. Anyway, have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me. city here all right as promised we'll get you underneath the hood and share the engine compartment very subtle all the way through I like the lack of bling just gives it a nice stock feel uh, underneath the hood here is a GM ZZ4 V8 so these are nice horsepower little engines has a nice dual snorkel GM style air filter they use complete GM components underneath the hood here um, the serpentine belt drive so basically a lot of GM just a good stock feel to it uh, radial style style compressor here AC upgraded air conditioning on it factory uh, upgraded style power steering on it so the power steering pump right there has an upgraded steering box with a better ratio on it nice and tidy all the fender aprons are done just in a satin black up front here the radiators done in a, either a powder coated satin black or just a satin black paint finish the AC condenser here has a nice little bug shield on it keep the bugs off it that's a re, uh, recovery tank for the radiator the receiver dryer for the air conditioning here nice shrink type, type hose clamps on it firewall to the top to the bottom of this car is just really nice underneath the hood this camera picks up a little bit of the green or more green than it should. It's an artesian turquoise, so it's more along the blue sides. Again, see the Teflon washers on the uh, fender apron bolts there. All rebuilt front suspension. Turbo 350 automatic transmission. Uh, GM factory V8 rear differential. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Bottom side of the hood's just finished in a nice satin black with the uh, CAD plated latches and uh, hood hinges here. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for listening to me. Drive this one. All right, we'll get you into the trunk here. Uh, hopefully the wind's not affecting us too much. We promise you we always go through the entire car. Very nice inside and out. And again, I'm speaking up probably because the wind's going to affect my uh, microphone just a little bit. Very nice restoration. There's a book here in the back I'll share with you in just a minute. But uh, the battery's been relocated to the trunk here. It has a nice little uh, perco battery turn off here. A nice fuse panel, main fuse panel. Underneath the dash is really nice. I've already shown you that on the walk around. Nice little courtesy light here. Uh, factory color style rear trunk carpet here. We'll cover this for you in just a second. We want to share with you. In this book here is uh, you'll see where they were refinishing the trunk during the restoration and the bottom floor pans that kind of thing but very nicely done all nice new wiring all the way to the back and the tail here very nicely done you look down in the well here it's beautiful this is typically where water would sit and a lot of these cars this is the first place you should check when you're looking at one of these cars this car is just rock solid in here really nice some jute padding on the back of the carpet there tuck that back in there this little book comes with it it's basically the documentation and it takes you through before and after but really the most important part is when you see how solid it is we'll take still photos of this and have it at Spud's garage you'll see the floor pans are just beautiful here the cowl the trunk that I was just talking about so all refinished in white during the restoration rotisserie style restoration on this car red oxide floor pans on the top side all the parts and pieces during the restoration uh, and it was restored fairly stock and then it was converted to a resto resto uh, resto mod a little bit later on you'll see it had a stock mat in it the battery was up into the head of 283 and it looked like stock format there but very nice subtle resto mod nicely done Make sure you go to the end of the video, look at the undercarriage with me. Thanks for listening to me. All right, let's get under the undercarriage and cover the undercarriage for you. This is a really nice car, top to bottom. Um, 
body off style restoration very nicely done rotisserie style restoration nice little upgrades makes it a nice little resto mod as a GM style disc brakes in the front with power booster underneath the hood I'm speaking up a little bit because the camera the mic might be affected by the wind just a little bit nice little stabilizer bar but just dialed in on the bottom side the kind of car you can drive um, and uh, just a nice little ride if you're looking for a really nice double nickel like I said during the walk around this is just a beautiful car it's got Hallibrand style wheels billet specialty kidney bean style wheels on it BF Goodrich TA uh, TA radials on it get to the undercarriage here make sure you look at the rockers you'll see the uh, the ZZ4 GM 350 crate engine you'll see the decal right at the bottom uh, the factory tag so to speak but the rockers there's a trans cooler right there turbo 350 automatic transmission dual exhaust with factory ram horn style exhaust manifolds the rockers are just beautiful on this car so are the floor braces to body to frame again we'll have uh, probably already covered the trunk we got it documented with the undercarriage that type of thing dual exhaust chambered mufflers not overdone just subtle tasteful right back back tire here again billet specialties wheels the rears are a uh, 220 225 55 ZR 16 in the rear BF Goodrich's but really nice body on this car look at the reflections there factory style gas tank factory uh, V8 rear differential drum brakes in the rear again power Papa's 55 see how this is all rock solid we covered a lot in the trunk but just a beautiful car top to bottom rotisserie style restoration nice uh, silicone exhaust mounts exits on the rear just nice and subtle two two and a quarter inch exhaust nothing just a nice uh, fun car to drive Get a lot of thumbs up with this car I'm sure artesian turquoise looks a little bit green with this camera nothing I can do about that make sure you go to spudsgarage.com see the still photos Again, the floor pans are just beautiful. Look at the rocker drains are right. We'll get to that front tire size while we're up here as we end up on the video. See the rockers are just beautiful. Anyway, we think you get the idea. I think I called them TAs. They're G-Force Super, Super Sport uh, BF Goodriches. And the... Uh, Fronts are 225-55ZR16 also, so the same tire, tire size all the way around. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for listening to me.